four plastics. The main plastics people use. Uh, you got the G Star plastic next to Mike KT for let me borrow that. Champion plastic, Star plastic, and we got the new Jolly Launcher that I just got in. Never heard of Jolly Launcher before until Greg Hill told me about it. Thank him for that. Um, upon getting it in and filling it, it doesn't feel a whole lot different than Champion, other than it's a little, maybe a little stiffer. That's about it. Kind of got a similar stiffness to a Star. I don't know, maybe a little bit, but um, so we're gonna see how that flies. That's kind of what prompted me to do the whole review thing. Was, uh, I was curious to how that would go. And um, if you're someone that likes to throw fairway drivers a lot and are looking for a little more high speed but not something that's going to do anything crazy, I think the Mamba is a really good choice for that. It's got enough stability if you don't throw it too hard and enough under stability if you throw it hard enough, it's going to do what you think it's going to do. That's why I like the Mamba because it's a high enough speed that's super understable, more understable than any disc that I know. It's just all about controlling your arm speed or picking, finding the right combination of plastics and weights to find that perfect flight. And I think the Mamba is very versatile for that. So if you're new to disc golf, want to get into some high speed drivers, I would start understable and then work your way up to more stable, like a destroyer. Uh, that's how I started. I built up from fairway drivers to high speed drivers and I throw mostly understable plastic. That's what I like to do. Um, so yeah, let's get to the course. I got the Champion, I have the Star, I have the G Star, and of course I have the new Jolly Launcher, which is kind of what prompted me to do all this because I'm curious as to what the difference is between this and any other Champion type plastic. So, so we're gonna throw them on a couple different shots, different angles, different powers. Forehand and backhand, and uh, see what we can do. Give you guys an idea of what this disc is about. I've already explained to you how it works, but um, now I'll show you. Alright, so, Champion was, uh, I didn't, like, I didn't put a whole lot of power on these, maybe a little more than half power, give or take. Champion wasn't that, it was the shortest one, I didn't, but, you know, whatever. Not really a good gauge of anything, I just didn't throw it that hard. The G-Star, I think it might have went the furthest, I threw it really flat and it's straight, it held pretty good. Uh, it is max weight, um, but pretty stable, just like Star. These two were literally right on top of each other. Um, I kind of threw them the same. I kind of got a little turn on them because uh, they can handle it a little more. Um, so maybe we'll try a little more power and uh, see how they all handle that. Uh, not too much of a win, so it's not really affecting them too bad. But uh, those are my first four throws, so we'll see what we got coming up next.
warmed up the uh what was it the champion mama went about 334 but this went about 363 uh it's plus or minus 20 or so feet but uh pretty much what i thought i mean 400 feet from here to the tee pad and it was a, close to the tee pad within like a a long putt so that's pretty accurate i'd say pretty close enough but um uh, we'll throw a few more you guys forehand grip I don't know how you guys are doing it but I always stack my grip like this and I always kind of rest rest the disc right there on these fingers and I have my pinky behind that um, and also make sure that you have a good pinch point there you never want to have this thumb right there like that that's not really it might be a couple of some but not for me I like to have it a little bit right here on the rim just almost barely touching the rim uh, it just makes it a more of a cleaner release for me. It doesn't, I don't grip lock it or anything like that. It pretty much just slides right out of my hand. So, a little tip for grip. You can do your stack grip all you want. Whatever, Nate Sexton. I just don't like those. I like this. Nice and tucked into my, in my hand. I don't know if you can see that. Tucked in nicely. Resting right here on these, on this finger. Just resting right there. So, oh, I think I'm gonna throw some big sky flexes to just see, show you what they'll do. I started getting a little bit of a headwind there, or a crosswind, it seemed like a headwind or something, so. But ultimately they all kind of wound up fairly close together, especially these three. Uh, this one, you know, you turn it over, it's, it's pretty much going wherever you are aiming it. It's gonna, it's gonna hit the ground at that angle, pretty much. So it can turn into a roller, uh, just be aware of that, but um, it, it is a little lightweight, it is a 167 weight, which doesn't make a huge, huge difference, to be honest with you. I've thrown a lot of champions, and the weight really doesn't make a huge bit of a difference. Uh, they just are always more understable. Um, would you want the most overstable? I would say any one of these three. And if they're too, too overstable for you, go to a champion or go down a weight, or just beat them up a little more. But I'm surprised by this G-Star. I'm really liking it. It's super straight for super long. I really like that. Uh, it doesn't turn on me. I'm sure in certain types of wind conditions, crosswinds, tailwinds, or headwinds, it's going to do that. But 
like it, I always like the star, and this is probably going to replace the uh, champion one. Uh, as it beats in, it'll probably kind of do similar things, but it'll have that more of a finish at the end, so it's not the only thing that I can say different about is this one than regular champion is. It's definitely a lot more stable, and wants to stay in the air a little bit more. You can put more power on it. Um, we'll try some backhands next, which I'm not good at, so don't judge me. Sort of think if you have a ton of fairway drivers in your bag and you have drivers in your bag high-speed drivers that you can't really throw very far or you're you're wanting more distance you know you got destroyers and things like that nukes or things that are high speed that you can't throw um, I would definitely try a Mamba uh, it's very beginner friendly in my opinion even though it's high speed doesn't mean that you can't throw it far uh, got a, a pretty good flight to it I think um, depending on your arm speed it's either gonna fly really straight with a steady predictable finish or it's gonna flip on your a little earlier um, depending on again your arm speed and all that but and wind but all in all it's it's a very versatile disc very good for woodsy turnover shots in my opinion it's, one of the end of those best discs. A lot of people don't throw, a lot of pros don't because it's too flippy for them, but we're not all pros, so we find uses for it. So, Jolly Launcher Mamba, Star Mamba, G Star Mamba are pretty stable uh, for a Mamba. And any champion Mamba is going to be understable. Regular champion. So, maybe start off with a champion, a little lighter weight. Then work your way up, but uh, I'm a fan for a reason. Nice hazard of flips, turnovers, long straight tunnel shots. Uh, just make sure there's no wind, uh, or at least no headwind, or really a lot of crosswind, depending on what he's throwing backhand, right hand, backhand, or left hand, or whatever. Um, so that's my review. Hope you guys enjoy. Hope it helped. Before I forget, I am going to be giving away a Jolly Launcher Mamba. Um, that shout out to Too Far and Par, Greg Hill. Thank you for the hookup on that one. Um, just comment below. Uh, just I don't know. Just give me a reason why I should give it away to you. Why you think Mambas are great? If you throw Mambas, if you're interested in throwing a Mamba, drop a comment below and uh, let me know, and it'll be yours. Thanks for watching. Like and subscribe.